My head is way too big. No girls are gonna like me with a pimple on my face. My voice sounds like a five year old that hasn't hit puberty yet. Everyone looking at me right now is saying that kid is too skinny. And I'm almost 100% positive that a lot of you think you have issues with your body as well. What if I told you that 99% of the women out there could give two craps less what you look like? You would be pretty surprised at what girls are actually interested in. Women like men that take care of themselves. It doesn't matter if you're skinny. It doesn't matter if you're fat. So here's a few things that you can show all those ladies that you actually care about your health. And the first one is probably the easiest, getting out and going for a walk. Confidence goes up when you exercise. It does not matter what type of exercise it is. That is something that you need when meeting women, girls, however old you are. If you like running more than you do walking, then just go for a run. It really doesn't matter what you do, but as long as you're doing something, that's considered taking care of yourself. If you do nothing, that's just being lazy. And for everybody thinking that someone is gonna judge you for going for a walk, for going for a run, maybe not being able to lift as much as you want to lift, doing push-ups, doing chin-ups, maybe you can't do any of that stuff. But doing nothing is just being lazy. And believe it or not, women like men that have some really good hobbies that they enjoy doing. For me, it's cars, obviously, and then doing YouTube. Those are both some very quick examples of things that I absolutely love and I'm always trying to improve on. So now that we got all of that stuff taken care of, wear clothes that fit you. If you don't like holy jeans, you don't need to wear holy jeans. I like holy jeans, so I'm gonna wear holy jeans. Do you need to wear a purple pink shirt? No, you don't. If you like blue, wear blue. If you like red, wear red. If you like pink, wear pink. For that rear set, people, this right here is something that you're gonna wanna wear because obviously something that's tight fitting isn't gonna be a good option for you. Put simply, you need to wear clothes that fit you, your body type, and the colors that you like. Since we're here, I get my clothes at Walmart. So you can't tell me that you just don't wanna go and buy clothes because if I can dress well shopping at Walmart, so can you. Another thing that'll pick your mood up is good music, bro. I mean, it doesn't matter what kind of music you like, man, but you know, I like trap music, man, it's fucking sick. The song I'm listening to is Clean Bandit Solo. It's just very energetic, uplifting music, man. And it puts you in a good mood. I'm not gonna tell you that you need to eat broccoli, kale, and spinach for every single meal, man. But women like men that actually take care of themselves. And eating healthy is a part of that. Like, this is sort of healthy. And this is enough. So we have half a cup of oatmeal. We have two chocolates in there, two lint chocolates, doesn't matter, whatever one you wanna have. And then obviously we have some milk and we are gonna put two apples in there as well. And then we will have our protein shake and I'm gonna sprinkle some Cocoa Krispies over the top of it. That is sort of healthy. Milk, good for you. Oatmeal, good for you. Apples, good for you. Cocoa Krispies and two chocolates, that's a, a treat for yourself. So for lunch, I have two pounds of broccoli here. I'm probably only gonna end up eating a pound and I'm also going to add a half a cup of Parmesan cheese to it. If you don't like Parmesan cheese, put some mashed potatoes with it. If you don't like mashed potatoes, crumble some potato chips and sprinkle them over it. 
if for some freaking reason you don't like cheese potato chips or mashed potatoes, actually buy some hamburger and make it on your own. Don't go to McDonald's and get a double quarter pounder. Just buy it and make it on your own, brother. And I'm sorry, boys, but if for some reason you do not like meat, cheese, potatoes, potato chips, then what the frick are you doing with your life? All right, so now for dinner, since we just barely got back from Walmart, I'm also going to toast one cup of hemp seeds. There's ways to eat healthy that aren't just freaking eating chicken breast, broccoli, kale, spinach. You know what I mean? Like, have something good for you in there. Don't go to McDonald's, get some french fries and a friggin' double quarter pounder with a milkshake. Where the fuck's the good stuff? And I'm not saying you can't do that every once in a while. So the last few things that I got here for you guys are written down on a notepad. Even though there are gold diggers out there, most women do not care about how much money you have. They just really care about whether you're pushing yourself to actually do something better with your life. Just as a really quick example, if you're like working at a gas station or something, none of them care about that. But you need to be doing stuff to actually get a good job like if if you're working at a gas station but you're going to school to be a businessman then you're that's fine that's just an example businessman is something that everybody will know but if you want to like study mechanics or something like that to work on cars as another example you know what i mean it's just like you actually have to be trying to do new things with your life you can't just like stay at that gas station and work there Another really quick thing to go over is just not to be boring, man. You know, do new things with your life. Be spontaneous. Don't just do the same exact thing every single freaking day. You know what I mean? You got to try new things with your life. And the last thing that we're going to go over is pretty self-explanatory, man. And it is way colder out than it looks. I came down here for a reason because it is windy as hell out and the wind is fucking sucks. But the last thing that I wanted to go over, sorry for bumming the camera a million times there, it's not the easiest spot to come up. Keep your house clean, brother. You ain't getting laid if you got beer bottles everywhere with underwear hanging off your couch freaking thing, you know what I mean? That's just common sense, man. Keep your house or apartment clean. Don't leave things laying around, you know what I mean? But yeah, that's gonna bring us to the end of the video, man. I hope you enjoyed it. Whoo! That was way more exhausting than it looked, bro. Leaving a like is always appreciated if you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.